Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. So um, I would love to hear what Pauli Malinaji got to say now. You know, at the end of the day, so much for Pauli Malinaji's theory that the Eastern European white fighter is dominating and is about to take over the sport. At the end of the day, it's people now all of a sudden they mad because I'm saying that Lomachenko was the great white hype train. Now all of a sudden people talk about, hey, why don't you not make this about race? But wait a minute. Like I said, when Wilder, when Wilder uh, lost to Fury, every white supremacist and their mama came on channels talking shit. And then here's the thing. Most of us, until we found out what was up with Tyson Fury, we gave Tyson Fury his props. But you had all these these white boys and these white bitches coming on here who probably don't even watch boxing, who just wanted to come on here and talk shit, was talking about, oh, yeah, well, Tyson Fury, he he taught the black fighter a lesson. He gave the black fighter. Then, you know, where was all this outrage when Larry Merchant referred to Deontay Wilder as the last black hype job? Larry Merchant flat out called Deontay Wilder a black hype job, but there was no outrage. There was none of this. Hey, why don't you not make this about race? Hey, man, you had people say, oh, well, Larry, Larry Merchant was just telling the truth. Oh, OK, well, cool. I was just telling the truth about Lomachenko, what I've been saying about Lomachenko for the past few years. Look, at the end of the day, we're not accepting any excuses for Lomachenko losing. He got beat. And it's just that simple. He got outboxed. He got beat. You know, he got beat and he was on the verge of getting stopped. Okay, until Russell Moore. Russell Moore is a horrible referee. Um, He shouldn't be allowed to referee any championship caliber fights. He, he interfered with Lomachenko about to be stopped like I said before for the people that's trying to throw Lomachenko a lifeline and try to say well um, the fight could have been a draw and you could see man get out of here cut the shit do not sit up here and insult people who understand boxing you know and follow boxing please stop it with that look fight wasn't a draw wasn't even remotely close to being a draw how is it a draw when you had tia Fimo win clearly at least eight rounds and if you being uh, if you be, you would be nice to say that lomachenko won five rounds out of the first eight rounds tia Fimo won arguably seven and he clearly won the 12th round so if you clearly win seven of the first eight rounds and then you clearly win the 12th round, that's you won eight rounds. OK. And if you want to be oh, and, and then if you want to get technical, if Tiafimo wins the first six rounds and he clearly wins the 12th round. That's seven rounds, even if Lomachenko wins five straight. He didn't stop Tiafimo or drop him. So how is that fight a draw on anybody's scorecard? Please stop it. Please stop it. But let me, let me, look, I know the scorecards was a little out there, but at the end of the day, the right guy won the fight. Okay? The right guy one nobody wants to talk about how Lomachenko his fans they don't want to talk about how he was about to get stopped in the 12th round until Russell Russell Moore intervened and bought some time for Lomachenko due to the fact that okay Tiafimo was cut it was only 17 seconds left let the man finish the fight let the man finish okay Stop it. Let the man finish. It was the last round. But, you know, Russell Moore got a history of doing these kind of things. We all know what he did to Abner Marrez and with Abner Marrez and Joseph Abeco. 
where Abner Marez was hitting Joseph Aveco clearly low, intentionally, and he refused to take a point. And it was just to the point to where Jim Gray was like, hey, man, what's up with this? So there you have it. I mean, it is what it is. But I want to get back to Pauly. I just wanted to put that out there. You know, Pauly was talking all this stuff about the, the dominant Eastern European fighter, white fighter, that is. But now they've all been taken down one way or another. Triple G is basically on a bum bash because he refuses to fight anybody of significance. And he, like I said, gets a complete pass. Sergey Kovalov. Well, we all know what's up with him. Andre Ward basically exposed his weak chin and his inability to take body shots. Now you got Lomachenko, same thing, same same pattern. Eastern European fighters cannot take body shots. So how are they dominating? How are they dominating? I mean... For the past few years, they presented this fraud, Lomachenko, to us like this dude was the almighty of boxing. And like I said, the man had a loss. So what's the excuse for him having two losses with less than 20 fights in? So how are you all-time great? And like I said, for years, they tried to sit up here and disregard all these black fighters and the, and the Hispanic fighters who had put in more work than him from... Mikey Garcia to to Canelo to uh, I, I mean for real to Canelo to Crawford to Andre Ward Terrence uh, I mean for real Terrence Crawford I to, to a certain degree I kind of understand what, what what's going on how ESPN just completely would ignore the fact that he was undisputed and how he was an undefeated fighter. Lomachenko's resume wasn't that good to begin with. So like I said, Pauly looks like a, a, a real clown right now. You know, but at the end of the day, we already know what Pauly is. I mean, keep in mind, he is from Bensonhurst. So, I mean, you know. It he, <laughs> that's to say enough about him. He is from Benson Hurts, but at the end of the day, his theory was way off, wasn't even remotely accurate. And like I said, I just cannot get over how how silly he sounds. Now, like I said before, when Polly Malinaji was saying the stuff, he was saying nobody called Polly a racist. Nobody said Polly playing a race card, but if you black, then here are all these, these these white boys and these non-blacks coming out of nowhere hollering about, hey man, can we not make this about race? But when they make it about race, then it's okay, it's all good. But once again, they come to that theory where blacks are not supposed to have an opinion. We're supposed to say what people want us to hear instead of telling the truth. If we don't follow a script, then something is wrong with us. But that's how it's always been. You know, but Polly looking real silly right about now. He looking real bad, you know, because I can't wait to see what his excuse going to be for Lomachenko getting taken down. Like I said, it was good for boxing that Lomachenko lost. It's good for the black fighters, it's good for the Hispanic fighters, and it's good for the the other non-black fighters. Because like I said, ESPN tried to force feed this dude. They tried to brainwash, which like I said, there was really nobody out there that thought Lomachenko was the best fighter in the world. As I said before, I was rooting for Tia Fimo to win this fight. I picked Lomachenko to win and to, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. Keep in mind, I also said, don't be surprised if Tia Fimo can pull this off. He, got, he, for the most part, he outboxed Lomachenko. And like I said, Lomachenko was shell-shocked at times. And I think he didn't understand how fast Tia Fimo was and how big he was. 
Lomachenko was bothered by Tiafimo's power all night. Tiafimo took his angles away and Tiafimo brought the fight to Lomachenko, something that Lomachenko is not comfortable doing. And I told you Lomachenko cannot fight going backwards. Had Tiafimo pressed Lomachenko more when he had him trying to fight off the back foot, Tiafimo might have would have stopped Lomachenko in less than seven rounds. He got beat. There's no excuse. We ain't trying to hear nothing. Lomachenko got beat. And to me, he aged. He aged a little bit. He showed his age. Like I said, he gave away the first half of the fight. Okay. Like I said, so much for that Matrix stuff. But yeah, Paulie, you a real hoe right about now, bro. You a clown. Post fight. Real talk. Stream. This your boy Town Biz. Eh. Mm, I'm out. I, I'll go 